Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I had a request um, for a face mask. It was a Hello Kitty face mask. So this is one I did and I didn't like it. Then I did this one and I didn't like it. So then I made this one. thought the ears were too small. The problem with this was the ears were getting in the way of the child's or the small adult's eyeballs. So they were just right underneath the eyes. Same with this, even though they're in a different spot. This one was actually worse and I thought, well, maybe I'll make the ears smaller. So I made the ears smaller and I didn't like it. And they were still just below the eyeballs and I didn't want that. So this is my final design. The ears are far enough apart that it doesn't impede the eyes. It just sits on the tops of the cheeks. And it's big enough and wide enough to cover the entire face of a child or a small adult in a Hello Kitty. So come along and um, this was fun to make and a little annoying since I made so many. Let's come along and uh, let's get started. So you are going to need a number five millimeter hook. You're going to need a stitch marker. Here, let's give you one that you can see. You're going to need a stitch marker, scissors, a needle, obviously for sewing. You're going to need black, yellow, and pink to make the bow and then white. So now the white um, is a is a four, but I doubled up on this just just to cut down on the holes. So there's very, I mean nothing's getting through that. You can barely see my skin color through it. So I doubled up on it, but it's still nice and soft and flimsy and and uh, I got a little arch here for the nose and then I have some little extra space for the I did some double crochets down here for the chin so it took me a long time to get this design but I finally got the design so let's let's rock and roll all right let's get started so we're gonna start with a slip knot And we're going to chain 19. So you're going to single crochet back 17. And then in your last stitch, you're going to put three single crochets. So, pull your tail and rotate your work this way. So now we're just going to be working on the opposite side. And you're just going to single crochet 
back up for 14. I was trying to weave my tail in while I was going, but that was just annoying. And I've completely lost count. Should have just said 15. So, in this next stitch, you're going to put two single crochets. And then this one, you're going to put two single crochets. If I can get under the stitch, this. Two single crochets in that the difficult way. And then you're going to single crochet 15. So that's 15. You're going to put two single crochets in here. And two single crochets in here, just like we did on the other side. And then you're just going to single crochet back up to the marker.
and 15. that in my mouth and try to talk. So now we're going to do one single crochet, two single crochets, one single crochet, two single crochets. And we're going to do that four times. So we're going to come all the way around. So do your one single crochet in your first stitch and put your marker. The next stitch cuts two single crochets. So that's one sequence. That's two sequence. That's three. And that's four. So I did one single crochet in one stitch and the next stitch I did two. One single crochet in the next, two, and then I just did that all the way around. So now we're gonna single crochet six. Should be somewhat in the middle. Should be somewhat in the middle. Actually, take that one out. That looks more like the middle to me. And then here we're going to put two half double crochets. And then the next stitch is going to be two half double crochets. And that should be in the middle. And then just continue with your single crochets for six. I guess I should say for five, because I did five over here. One, two, three, four, five, yeah, and then I did my, so five back down here and we'll stop. And we'll start our increase. So our increase is going to be the same as what we just did over here. It's going to be one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one two. and we're going to do that four times. There, so now we've got, turn this around, your little nose piece. Now we're coming back around the bottom. So once you're done that, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, double crochets all the way across. Actually, do 13. Remove the marker and put one in there, so do 13 double crochets. So 
So not a half double, you're doing a full double crochet. I'm going to move mine now. I know I got two more stitches. So there. That's going to be the chin part. And you got your nose part. So. So now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. Oh no, sorry. We're going to do one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochets. And then we're going to do that three times. So we're going to end up right back over here. So put your one single crochet in there with your marker. I know the marker keeps moving, but it is helpful, even though it keeps moving. So you got one, you want another single crochet, and then this next stitch gets two single crochets into that stitch. And then again, one single crochet, one single crochet, and then two single crochets in that space. One more time, one single crochet, one single crochet, and two in that space. So it looks funny now. So we're just trying to pull up some more yarn. So, what do I have next? So 18 single crochets is what I have next. So now that we've done our 18, we can do the same thing that we did on the other side. So we'll go 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2. That's our first sequence. Second sequence. And another one, one, two. That is our third sequence. 
and you're going to single crochet back up to your marker. And put your last single crochet in there and put your marker back. So now at this point we're just going to single crochet all the way around the entire project till we come back to our stitch marker. So, put your stitch in here, put your marker back, so you're going to single crochet five, we're going to put our ear pieces on now. Put 
if you feel these aren't in the right spot you can you can single crochet six you can single crochet seven you can single crochet four I'm gonna single crochet five and you are going to chain uh, I did 15 for my other masks um, and I understand that they might have been a little bit snug so I'm doing 18 for this if I can <laughs> oh snag So once you have your 18, you're going to skip two and you're going to slip stitch into that third stitch. Hold tight. Put your single crochet in here and then you can set it down and you can have a look, see, to see if you like where it's at. Or you don't like where it's at my battery is probably gonna die so I will swap it out when that happens but if I get cut off that's why my battery died so anyway take a look at that if you like it you like it if you want to move it then then that's fine but that's where mine's going so so I'm gonna change one more I already changed I already stitched one I'm gonna stitch another one and then I'm going to instantly move into my ears. So this next stitch, the third one from your ear piece, you're going to put a single crochet and a half double crochet into that stitch, into the next stitch, you're going to put a double crochet, you're going to put a triple crochet, You're going to chain one, you're going to picot, which means you're going to come down, let me get my pointer, you're going to come down to the very first, so you're, you're basically crocheting the double and the triple together with these two pieces of yarn right there. So when you say see a picot, It'll say chain one or chain two or chain three P I C O T. That's what it means. You chain one and then you come down. You find the two pieces of thread that one at the top of this double and then into the triple. And all you do is you stick your hook underneath there and slip stitch. And that's how you're going to get a point. Oh my gosh. So it's going to give you that point on the ear. And then you're going to do another triple, still in the same hole. Stuck. And then you're going to do a double, still in the same hole. And then in the next stitch, you're going to do a half double. So it gets pretty squishy. And then you're going to do a single in that same stitch. So that is your ear. And I can't believe my battery hasn't died yet. Okay, I'm going to go change my battery. All right. So now that we've got our lovely ear. You're just going to single crochet. So don't forget this little guy in here right next door, even though it's squishy. We're going to single crochet 16.
or 16. So that seems like it's far apart, but like I explained, I just really needed to keep it away from the, the eyes because it was just in the way of the eyes. So we're going to repeat the same thing that we just did. You're going to put a single crochet into the next stitch and in the same space a half double. <laughs> Maybe. Man, there are just way too many stragglers in this yarn. All right, half double. In the next stitch, you're gonna go double crochet. Oops. Triple crochet in the same hole. You're gonna chain one. You're gonna picot. Then you're gonna do another triple, same hole. And then a double, same hole. In the next stitch, you're gonna do a half double. And in the same space, you're going to do a single. And that, maybe. Stragglers. And that is your second ear. So now we got our ears done and we got our one ear piece done. So really all that's left is this other ear piece. So you're going to single crochet two. And you're going to chain 18. You're going to skip two, and in that third one. You're just going to do a slip stitch. Pull it tight. And then all you're going to do is single crochet all the way back up to your marker. We can lay this down. So you can check to make sure your ear pieces are in the same spot because you might have dropped a stitch or added a stitch somewhere so yours might not be in the same spot so just check and make sure they're in the same spot. And then just single crochet back up to your marker. So now that we're back up to our marker, you can now remove your marker. And in this next stitch, you're just going to slip stitch, fasten off, pull your knot tight. Turn it around, come back in through this stitch here, grab this guy, and pull them through. And we're just gonna pull tight and we're gonna hide. We're gonna hide them on this side. So 
so I mean there's a knot so you don't have to be too 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 serious about tucking him in but you do want to make sure that you can't see that's why I pulled it through like that so it just looks like a regular stitch you can't tell so I just want to give that a, a little tug just so that gets brought down and you can't even tell that you fastened off there and then you can snip it off as close as possible this I weaved in as I went so I'm just gonna snip that off it's not going anywhere and now you just need to get all your different colored yarns you need your black yellow and then pink to make the bow and a needle and I will meet you back here to put our face on all right so the first thing I want to do are the eyes well, I have no idea where the beginning of my black is so we're, we're just gonna cut randomly So I'm not very good at this. As you can see, that's the face I did. Sorry, I had the yarn in my mouth. That's the face I did. <laughs> um, so that's the back. So all I did was tie, um, oh, that's from the bow. Um, all I did was tie it at the back. So, and I put this on my face to see if it was uncomfortable and it's really not, so. Um, so, we just need to figure out where we're going to put some stuff. So, I'm not, I'm not that great at embroidery. So, I don't know if you really want to copy what I'm doing. <laughs> but, I'm just going to go, um, I'm going to make, first make stars for the eyeballs. I'm not going to be very good at um, matching it up to the other side either. And then I'm just going to cross over this way. And then I'm going to cross over the down ways way. There's one eye. So all I did was snip it off and then I just tied it. I pull, When I do the second knot, I pull that tight, but I mean, I'm really not trying to pull it tight until the second knot, just because I want the knot to be so very, very, very small. I can lighten this back up now, right? So I just want the, um, that's better. I just want the um, knot to be very, very small and I want to cut that off as close as I can because you don't want that rubbing on the child's face. And then I'm just gonna try to copy. So I'm kind of on this side of the ear. I started somewhere around this row so it's all just a guessing game I have no idea what I'm doing yeah it looks like I just go into that top row and that might be too small I don't know I'm a bad judge of crossing back over. This eye might be bigger than the other eye. 
So I hope you sew better than I do, or embroider better than I do, to make your face. But really, I mean, I, it's the bow that makes it Hello Kitty, right? I don't know, is that close? That's not bad. I'll just snip it off anywhere and tie a knot. horrible I don't think all right let's get yellow for the nose the nose is the easiest part well in my opinion I can always seem to manage to do the nose can't really screw up a nose I have a hell of a time with these whiskers, though. But you guys might be, you know, might be somebody out there that's just a whiz. So try to figure out where you're going to come in and go down. Start off with a big nose and go down in size as you go along. That's all I did. Oops. my nose. I didn't leave much for tying, but I'm going to get quite a bit of black for this one because I'm going to do all three of the whiskers at the same time. So, you can look at a face of Hello Kitty, but um, on the actual cartoon of Hello Kitty, it's actually quite high. It comes out almost the side of the cat's head. And I just thought that was something I really couldn't do because of the mask, but I did spread it out because the mask is quite wide. So it's not coming off the nose like normal whiskers would do. But it's not, if you look at the, if you look at the Hello Kitty, um, anime, it's not, um, I think it's anime, is it anime? I don't know much about Hello Kitty. Uh, I know Hello Kitty has been around since my daughter was, was small and she's, oh my cat just jumped off the windowsill again. Um, Hello Kitty has been around since my daughter's been small and she was a really big fan, um, 
but I uh, I'm not sure so it's up to you I mean like I said you don't have to follow what I'm gonna do and I don't even know what I'm gonna do I'm just sticking it just sticking it in and winging it to make sure you leave some at the back for for tying and then I'm just really gonna make this a big whisker this first one because the Hello Kitty um, pictures that I was looking at it has a big whisker so come back around and come back up through here you can see the needle in this um, it has big whiskers and small whiskers so. so I'll do big whisker and then my I'll do small whiskers that's the plan so there's my big whisker and I came up all, all in the same hole off of the same hole for doing all three of these whiskers I didn't make a new spot Just make sure that it's not doing that at the back. Stretch it out so that it's going to lay flat. We'll really stretch this guy out. My whiskers on every single one of these, they're all different. <laughs> I'm getting this all tangled. Uh oh. Don't do what Tara's doing. What am I even tangled with? Oh, I came up right in, in the middle of that. Oh. So that's not good. Alright, problem averted. Ouch, I just poked myself. Told you, I'm not a sore. So, there's some stitches. Some. <laughs> They're all different, I'm telling you. They're all different. Look at these guys. They're really close. And there's these guys. And there was... Actually, these ones aren't too bad. This whole one isn't too bad. It turned out really well. The only problem is, the ears were just... We're just literally almost in the eyeballs. So too too wide this way, not wide enough this way, and then uh, and but I mean the face turned out perfect on this one. It was so good, but it's all garbage now. So but this one's shorter. You have a nose piece and you have a chin, little chin piece, and it does cup itself. I just heard the weirdest noise. Anyway, moving on. So, if you got that done, we're not going to drag it over here to do the other ones. We'll actually cut it because a child's face is going to be touching all of this. So you don't want too much going on in the back to maybe make, make the child itchy or You want to cut it off as absolutely as low as you possibly can. So now we got to try to match the other side. Oh my gosh. This is the hard part. Try 
kind of match. Oh, I'm up here. Kind of under the eye in this row, so I think that might be not too bad. I'm just eyeballing it. And now I'm two rows in here. So two rows in here. The two Archie. And no, do the best you can for being all matchy matchy. Just remember to stretch it out because you don't want any bunching for that poor kid's face that's going to be wearing it. So I'm going to come back up in the same hole and I'm going to do my little short guy. Um, yeah, here about there. You can do your face completely different if you want. It's up to you. Considering this is my first time making a Hello Kitty, and only because it was requested, I don't think I did too bad. It took me all day, and well, by my, that's my fourth piece. So all day and four pieces later, that looks like he's, I don't know, right there. I finally was able to get the pattern down, so it took a while, but could have been worse. Could have made 10 pieces, but I'm in isolation like the rest of the world, so I had nothing better to do. So <laughs> that looks dumb. <laughs> Okay, don't do yours like mine. Mine match pretty good. They just match really dumb. So, so hopefully yours came out better than mine did. But that's probably the hardest part for me is these stupid whiskers. So next comes the bow and it's really super fast and super easy. Try not to make anything too hard. I mean, I've, I've made bows before, so um, I'd already decided that it was going to be easy <laughs> before. So any kind of pink, I guess. I mean, all I know is that, well, I mean, actually, some of the pictures I've seen, um, the bow was red. So I, I, I have no idea what color it's supposed to be, but I'm going with pink. So just make a slip knot with, there's my needle, with uh, 3.5 is what I'm using for this. I don't have, I don't have the thing for this yarn. I don't have the sleeve, but it's it's lightweight it's it's thin I just I just don't know all right so I'll make a slip knot and my hook is a 3.5 so chain 11 I'm going to get rid of all this because my um, camera is probably trying to focus in on it. And instead of what I'm doing, it is bad for doing that. So you're just going to start in, in the first hole that you can get into. And you're going to single crochet back across 10, which is all the stitches you have.
three to one. You're going to turn your work and you're going to do the same thing. Sorry, I have no idea if I was just in the camera shot. Make sure you get into this very first stitch at the end. That's important. Keeps your ends straight. And we're making a bow, so. And don't forget to get this one at the very end because it'll look funny. Chain one, turn your work, and you're going to do this till you have six rows. So four more, four more times. Don't forget to get into this very first hole. It gets missed a lot, and especially when we're working with such thin yarn and such a small needle. All right, we can fasten off. You can just tuck your ends away because we are going to be um, just getting a fresh piece to put this on with, so. just on how I struggle to weave or to, <laughs> to uh, thread my needle oh my gosh so I'm just gonna weave this guy all the way down try not to pull it out of shape it in case you're wondering what I'm doing. I am getting the end wet so I don't struggle so much. And 
then I'll just do the same thing here. Just weave this down in and out. And pull through. And you just want another little piece. Fold this guy in half. And just wrap tightly. You can make it as big or as small as you want. Keep this end fairly long and out. So you can wrap it as tightly as you want or as many times as you want. And then just tie a knot. A really tight knot. So really pull on it when you tie your knot. And then you can give it a little snip. Nobody should know that that's even been tied. And there is your little bow. So I'm just going to grab another little piece of yarn. Don't need a lot. I'll grab my head. I almost lost my head. <laughs> oh, I lost my head. I'm just going to shape my bow a little bit. I'm going to put it wherever you want to put it. I mean, most of the bows are over on this side. That's why I chose to put mine on that side. Um, so right at the ear, right over the eye. I'm just going to come up through the back into the bow here, leaving leaving some at the back for tying. And then I'm going to go down the other side. Don't try to go through that. It's just too hard to get your needle through it. So coming down through the other side, you can't hardly even see that there's a piece over there. And then when you tie it, you're going to tie it really, really tight. You're going to pull it tight and you won't even see that piece of thread. Just trying to cut down how many pieces of thread so I don't want to do it any more than once. So I just pulled that really tight. And if it's acrylic, it's not going to break. And there you have it. You've got your Hello Kitty face mask. Super cute. Other than the whiskers. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.